Hey everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so this question says, a uh, reinforced concrete beam, 10 inches by 30 inches, is simply supported by wall bearings with a center to center span 18 feet. It has a superimposed dead load two kip per foot and a life load six kip per foot. And we're using F from C equals to 5 KSI, FY equals to 60 KSI. The unit weight of the concrete is 150 pounds per cubic foot. And we're going to determine the required reinforcement for this cross section under the applied load. Okay. So this question is mainly referring to your PE reference handbook, chapter 4.3.2.2. This is where you're dealing with flexural strength in a beam. Okay, so as usual, I like to break it down into different steps. All right, so first of all, since uh, we're going to design the reinforcement under a specific load combinations, so now let's take a look at ACI 318 and table. 5.3.1 right so your load combination is going to be 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times life load all right the life load is pretty straightforward we use six kip per foot which is provided by the question but the dead load you have to be careful so in addition to the superimposed dead loads you also need to account for the self weight of the beam right so your dead load is actually a composition of self weight of this concrete beam plus the superimposed dead load okay all right so in order to calculate self weight you need to determine the cross sections of the beam. So that's 30 times 10 inches. Let's convert it into square foot and times the unit weights of the concrete, 150 pounds, which is also uh, 0.15 kip per cubic foot. Then plus your superimposed dead load, two kip per foot so you're getting 2.3125 kip per foot okay so this is your dead load so if you plug it back in here 1.2 times 2.3125 plus 1.6 times 6 so you're getting 12.375 kip per foot Okay, so this is your uniform distributed load. Step two, we need to determine the maximum moment for this simply supported beam, right? So this is going to be WL squared divided by eight. You can also take a look at PE reference handbook in chapter 4.1.7 there's a table right so you can take reference from in the very first item is the one with a uh, uniform distributed load okay wl squared divided by eight you get 12.375 times l which is 18 square divided by eight this is 501.5 one nine kip foot all right so now we got our maximum moment calculated file 1.19 all right let's move on to step three right we go back to uh, chapter 4.3.2.2 the next one you have to calculate is rn which is mu divided by phi b d squared. So there are a couple of, of parameters in this formula. Mu is the moment I just calculated, phi 1.19. Phi is the strength 
reduction factor. Okay. So if you take if you take a look at SCI three eighteen in table twenty one point two point two we can assume that the the cross section is tension control and that means we can use phi equals to 0 0.9 okay this is just an assumption and the criteria here is the the strength at the tension side which is the strength of the steel has to be larger than larger or equal to 0 0.005 all right so after we calculate the reinforcements we have to go back here and double check if we meet this criteria okay now we just use phi equals to 0 0.9 to move on to calculating so mu is 501.19 and like like to convert that into kip inch right phi is 0.9 B is the width of the cross section, which is 10 inches. D is the distance from top fiber to the center of the reinforcement, which is also being provided here. 27. All right. So you're having Rn equals to 0 0.917. Okay. And the unit is kip per square inch. Your step four will be calculating n equals to Fy divided by 0 0.85 F prime C, and that's going to be 6t divided by 0 0.85 divided by 5. So you're having 14.1177, okay? And low equals to 1 over n times 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2nRn divided by Fy, right? So this is going to be 1 over 14.1177, 1 minus square root, 1 minus 2 times n, which is 14.1177 your rn equals to 0 0.917 divided by 60 right so this should give you 0 0.01742 this is your low all right then finally your as equals to low times bd which is 0, 0.0 1742b equals to 10 d is 27 so having your reinforcement area 4.7 inch square so we are pretty certain that the answer should be a right but like we just mentioned since we assume that the strength reduction factor is 0.9 under the tension controlled criteria so we need to double check whether the strength in the steel is larger than 0 0.005 okay so in the same chapter here's a graph showing like this so this is your compression at the concrete block right this is a and uh, this is your tension at the reinforcement okay so this is your compression at the concrete and this is your strength diagram this is your strength at the concrete this is the strength at the steel okay this is d and this is c okay so in the in this chapter we have the formula to calculate a which is a s f y divided by 0.85 f point c 
divided by b. Okay, so uh, we're having 4.7 fy60, 0.85 divided by 5 divided by 10. So we're having 6.64 for a. Okay, and c equals to a divided by beta 1. And then beta 1 can be determined as 0 0.85 minus 0 0.05 times f prime c minus 4,000 4, divided by 1,000. This is in the unit of PSI, right? This, is, this formula is coming from the reference handbook chapter 4.3.2.1 okay so this is the formula that we are using to calculate beta 1 when we're dealing with f prime c is between 4000 to 8000 psi okay right so we have 5000 psi so beta 1 equals to 0 0.85 minus 0 0.05 times uh, 5,000 minus 4,000 divided by 1,000. So that's 0.8. Okay. So your C equals to 6.64 divided by 0 0.8. So that's going to be 8.3 inches. Okay. All right. And now we consider that the concrete is at its ultimate strength, which is 0 0.003, right? So your strength as steel will be will be D minus C over C times the strength of the concrete. So that's going to be 27 minus 8.3 divided by 8.3 times 0 0.003 so you should be getting 0 0.0068 right and this is larger than 0 0.005 so our assumptions of having a tension tension control section is is fulfilled all right so the answer should be a all right, so in the second half of this video, I would like to introduce another way to calculate the required reinforcement for this cross-section. Okay, this is called a method two. So in method one, we have calculated the maximum moment induced from the applied load, which is file 1.19 kip feet, right? And we also assume that the strain reduction factor is going to be 0.9 which will assume that it is tension controlled right so we're also using PE reference handbook chapter 4.3.2.2 .2. so in this chapter we know that A equals to ASFY divided by 0.85 f prime c divided by b and we also know that and then the nominal flexural strength for the cross section it's going to be asfy times d minus a divided by 2 all right so if we plug in the first equation to the second one we will get asfy times d minus ASFY divided by 2 divided by 0.85 divided by F prime C divided by B okay then we just plug in all the data that we had so the unknown is AS FY 60 times 27 minus AS 60 divided by 2 divided by 0.85 divided by 5 and divided by 10 
right? Let's tidy this up. We will get 1620 AS minus 42.35 AS square. And that will equal to MN, which equals to MU divided by 5, right? So that's 501.19. And if we convert that into kip inch, we have to multiply by 12 divided by 0.9, right? So that's, let's rewrite the right hand side. Okay. Okay, so if we rearrange these equations, we'll get S square minus 38.25 AS plus 157.8 equals to zero. All right, so at the end, we just have to solve for this equation. We'll have AS equals to 38.25 plus minus 38.25 square minus 4 times 157.8 then divided by 2 you'll get two options 33.55 or 4.70 all right so we all know that 4.70 is our answer but let's also double check whether 33.55 could also be an answer right the way we validate this is to check if this reinforcement area will give us a tension control section which is our assumptions of using strain reduction factor 0.9 okay so let's double check this one so uh, in method one we use epsilon t which is the strength in steel which has to larger than 0 0.005 to give us a tension control section right that's the criteria so first we still have to calculate a right that's a s f y divided by point a 5 f prime c divided by b right so that's 33.55 times 60 divided by point a 5 divided by 5 divided by 10 okay so i'm getting 47 point three six inches okay so as you can see a has already exceed the entire depth of the cross sections meaning that we have too much reinforcement so even with the entire depth of the concrete wouldn't be able to balance force in the steel right so that means the steel would not yield under the applied load so definitely not going to be a tension control section Okay, so that means this option would not be our answer. Okay, so we still have to pick 4.7. So that's answer A. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.